there's an old word called integrity. Integrity. Um, you know, a lot of people supported Donald Trump in his bid and run for president because not because of what he's saying. We all are not. We're not stupid. We know that if a politician's mouth is moving, they're flat out lying. We know that. It's a game. It's a dog and pony show. Uh, nevertheless, if we, if you knew the history of Donald Trump and how he has always been against guns, the only time he ever courted even playing around with the notion that guns is all right is when he went over to the Republican ticket. Now, it ain't no surprise to me that a situation like this takes place and then he wants, the first thing he wants to do is go and get in lockstep with the Democrats. Uh, concerning guns. It's not a surprise whatsoever at all. It's also not a surprise to me uh, the way that the American public responds uh, when they hear certain things and when they do certain things. It's, it's really off the chain. You know, this, this nonsensical attitude that we have today is utterly amazing. For instance, you can support something and you can be for it. But whatever happened to that once they get out of step, you reprove it, you correct it, you rebuke it, and if they don't get in step, then you distance yourself from these people. That doesn't mean you are wrong. You know, the attitude in this country, the way people process thought, is just literally off the chain. It just does not make any sense whatsoever at all. It's like um, the first thing that the court of public opinion want to do is try to make you guilty by association because you are following someone up to a point, or you are agreeing with someone up to a point, but as soon as they get off that point, you check them, and if they did not get back on point, you ostracize yourself from them. You cut off the relationship. That is true honor and true integrity because you're, you're not going to sit there and put up with someone in that buffoonery simply because they're the person that you thought they were, but then they changed step. You see what I mean? The ability to be able to adjust. The ability to be able to change speaks more, speaks a lot more volumes about a man or a woman than to continue to keep sitting up there supporting someone. I mean, that's like you got these two clowns on here called Diamond and Silk. Man, you talking about them are two utter reject clowns right there that think that they have everything politically right and everything all no, they don't. Look, let me tell you something. Fox News will put anybody up there that will support their agenda, just like CNN, just like anybody else, but Donald Trump. It's flat out wrong on this gun issue. Again, if you're informed, it should not be any surprise to you whatsoever at all that he's against guns. Now, you notice that the ultra-rich, they're not too much worried about guns because they're surrounded by armed gunmen all the time, all the time. But he ain't doing nothing, no different than what his past track record has already revealed. Why are we so surprised, or why are you so surprised? I don't get it. I, I really, truly don't get it. You know, I don't care who it is. When somebody's wrong, you call it out. You know what the attention really, truly needs to be centered on? The attention needs to be centered on how that the law enforcement agencies, with all of this information that they had, the FBI, the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, we really need to be pointing the, the finger at them, and we need to fire every single one and clean house and stop the hell all over again because this 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 poor leadership the total i mean the, the just totally ignored the signs and they just they just fumbled this whole entire thing the finger needs to be put on the sheriff's department the police department and the fbi there in florida they had warning signs can you believe this guy threw his mom up against the wall Oh, man. And see, see what I'm talking about? So, there's a lot of early warning signs that were already out there, and yet still they ignored them and chose to do nothing. And then the cowardness of not only one, but three sheriff's deputies to sit there for four minutes and listen to the carnage go on as people screamed and hollered and died and went off into eternity because they cowards. Somebody say, I ain't going to judge it. Well, I'm going to judge it. I'm going to flat out judge it. Man, a soldier runs to the fire. Well, there ain't no soldier. They definitely didn't take the damn uniform off then. Take it off. Whoo. Trump, 
I like to think that I went in there. No, your fat ass wouldn't. You wouldn't have did a damn thing. You do the same thing you always done. Hide behind people who have guns. Hide behind your millions and billions of dollars. Hide behind your daddy's name. That's all you gonna do. And continue to keep lying in order to get advantage and gain in this world and continue to keep deceiving people. That's exactly. See, you are what you do. Talk is cheap. Four deferments. Four deferments when you add a check. Four of them. When you people going to listen to Pastor Down and realize that the rich rule over the poor to their own hurt. The warriors are the poor and the middle class because they're the only ones that's joined the military anyway. How many millionaire, billionaire, how many billionaire sons are actually in active duty? How many? Man, you people are something else. You see, and that's why we continue to keep watching civil liberties eroding. That's why we keep watching this gun issue debate being systemic. It keeps coming back again and again and again and again and again. Because most of you like sticking your head in the sand. And you got this philosophy and this attitude that as long as they don't bother me, then I'm fine. No, they're already bothering you. They're troubling you. You know, I, I've got a class that I teach. Um, and and I, I'm just going to put it like this. I tell people all the time, listen here. If the war is at your mailbox, you've already lost the war. You don't wait for the fight or the battle to come to your mailbox. You go to it. You, you go out to it, and the last place you want it to be at is in your backyard. Well, we're watching the turncoat take place, and now he's courting Diane Feinstein. you got to also wonder what in, what in the hell is going on there, too. But I tell you, man, you know, the deception is real. The deception, you know, And I can understand the reason why a lot of you can't ever change or transform your opinion or much less your life because it's too painful to be correct.